board. Local 10 News reporter Hatzel Vela is live at Port Miami with this story. Hatzel. Alex, quite a relief for these passengers. Think about this. They have tried three different Latin American countries, Argentina, Uruguay, and Brazil. All three countries rejected the ship. Finally, they're here in Miami, and the mayor of Miami-Dade County tells me that the Coast Guard is assuring him they have a sound plan to get these folks off board. Princess Cruises will. We're on board the Coral Princess. Christine Beeler shot this video as she arrives into the port of Miami. It's been very frustrating. Sky 10 over the port as the massive vessel docks. At around 11.30 this morning, the first of two critically ill passengers is rushed to Larkin Hospital in Hialeah. Our cameras there as the passengers arrive at the hospital. A total of two, one American, one Australian, are being treated there. Two others died on the ship. Here's the breakdown of the 1,020 passengers on the ship. 993 can go home. 27 are sick and will have to stay on ship in quarantine. Of the 878 crew members, 840 are fit to travel, but 38 have symptoms and will have to quarantine as well. On Friday, as we covered the departure of hundreds of Holland America cruise ship passengers, still no decision had been made on what to do with the Coral Princess, which was then located in the eastern Bahamas. The plan didn't really come into fruition until, you know, early morning hours of in this morning. Mayor Carlos Jimenez says the Coast Guard assured him the plan in place is solid. Passengers will be screened before heading on buses and straight to the tarmac at Miami International, then taking flights to their respective final destinations. I'm a firefighter, and to me, it's uh, the best, you know, we have to save lives. Back on the ship, we hear from the captain. Any guests with COVID-19? flu-like or respiratory symptoms will remain on board. Yeah. Christine Beeler, who's 72 and traveling alone, just wants to get back home to New Hampshire. I just want to say thank you to Miami for letting us in. Um, we need to be here. We need to go home. We need to get away from this illness. Christine tells me her 80-year-old uh, husband is waiting for her, so she cannot wait to get on the flight. But at this point, she doesn't know when those flights will start taking off from MIA. For now, reporting live from the Port of Miami, I'm Hatsavella, Local 10 News.